Onigiri or rice wolves are a popular type of Japanese food that I'm sure a lot of you have seen before and maybe have even tried for yourself. Now with how popular the food is in Japan it will naturally be included in many Japanese shows and games. However during the localization process of bringing Japanese media to the west, foods such as this will sometimes be changed to more western meals. This depends very much on the media in question as well as the localization company in charge. Today though we'll be taking a look at the Pokemon TV series and how localizers for kids handled the foreign food. Four kids are notorious for their heavy edits to Japanese shows, with one of these types of edits being the removal of most Japanese themes. In regards to the rice wolves, they must have felt that altering the food to something more western would be more understandable to western audiences, especially the younger demographics that typically watch Pokemon. And so foods such as this were edited regularly all throughout the show. Episode 2 for instance didn't have Professor Oak talk about his pizza being delivered, instead it was his ramen over cooking. Pokemon's long history of rice wool edits though all began in episode 12, Here Comes the Squirtle Squad. This was the first time that rice wools appeared, and here's how four kids handled the appearance of the Japanese food. Oh no! They're eating all the jelly donuts and eclairs! They're drinking all the lemonade! This is cruel and unusual! Needless to say, the Japanese version didn't talk about donuts and eclairs, but of course rice balls and sandwiches. By the way, if you're wondering where they got eclairs from, it appears to be this long food substance shown here that isn't mentioned by name in the Japanese version. This was the first time for rice balls to appear in an episode, but one of the most infamous cases would occur a little later in episode 25, Primeape Goes Bananas. Here's why. Have a donut, that always cheers me up. Pika Pika! These donuts are great! Jelly filled are my favorite. Nothing beats a jelly filled donut. Maybe it wants a donut. That donut is my own special recipe. It's a donut! A donut Pokemon? You should have let it finish that donut, Ash. Your homemade donuts are our only hope. Maybe more donuts will stop it. Donut go! Ah, I wasted a donut. Donuts, donuts, donuts. This episode, and in particular Brock's jelly filled donuts lines, are so popular that they've even become a meme, commonly used when discussing localised Japanese food or just questionable localisation decisions. Comparing Brock's lines with the Japanese version, Misty kicks things off by saying, well you'll cheer up after eating a rice ball, and Brock says the round ones have pickled plums, the triangle ones have kelp, I picked up some pretty good kelp. Yep, Brock says nothing to do with jelly, donuts or even anything being his favourite. Most of the episodes other changes are pretty much as you would imagine, but there was a case of four kids adding donut references where not even rice balls were mentioned originally. At the end of the episode in the Japanese version, Team Rocket simply says this feels bad after getting attacked by the angry Pokemon. Overseas though. I wish we had some donuts. Four kids would keep up changes like this all throughout the show, but it wouldn't be till the later episodes where they would start to really change things around. You may have noticed how they were only changing the dialogue and not the graphics to go with it. But in later episodes such as episode 366 shown here, the rice balls would be visually changed into other foods such as sandwiches. Episode 392 visually changed rice balls in multiple scenes, the first of these being a giant rice wall rolling down a hill which was changed into a giant sandwich. Another food that four kids change rice balls into in this episode is crackers, both on the plate as well as getting et by Munchlax in the next scene. These types of edits though wouldn't last forever, the Pokemon company took over the English production of the show at the start of season 9 when four kids were let go, rice balls have commonly been depicted as rice balls ever since. Four kids would also then go on to file for chapter 11 bankruptcy in 2011 and leaving the anime business altogether. This means that four kids are no longer making edits like this to not just Pokemon but any other shows too, with them once upon a time being in charge of most anime released in the west. Sansa Gaming has many other videos on four kids and Pokemon and lots of other localization related topics. If this is something that interests you then please make sure to check out the description for some links to previous videos and hit that subscribe button and until next time thank you for watching.